Welcome to our English online class. Remember learners, you will need your workpack, your English reader and your dictionary for this lesson. Good morning class. Today is Wednesday, the 28th of July, 2021. Let's make it a great day. Today we are going to continue our discussion about frogs. Do you remember stage one and two of the life cycle of a frog? Stage one is the egg stage and stage two is the tadpole stage. You can refer to your work pack if you do not remember these stages. Let's go. Today we will be discussing the stage three of the frog life cycle. And this stage is when the frog is a froglet. The tadpole grows and becomes a froglet. A froglet has legs. After a while, the tadpole begins to grow legs. Its tail gets smaller. The tadpole's lungs develop so it can breathe air. At this stage, the tadpole is called a froglet. The last stage of a frog's life cycle is when it becomes an adult. The froglet's legs grow stronger and its tail gets smaller. It is now an adult frog. Soon, the froglet's tail disappears and he crawls to land. He is now an adult frog. Female frogs can now lay eggs and start the cycle again. And this, children, is the life cycle of a frog. Children, I hope you all have enjoyed learning all about the life cycle of a frog. Let us go over everything that we have learned so far. We have learned that there is four stages in the life cycle of a frog. The first stage is the egg stage. The egg is surrounded by jelly and the jelly protects the egg. The egg then hatches. And from the egg, a tadpole emerges. The tadpole has a tail and a head. The tadpole also has gills to help it to breathe underwater. The tadpole then grows into a froglet. The froglet has legs and its lungs begin to develop as well as its tail, which begins to disappear. The froglet then goes on to land and it becomes a, it becomes an adult frog. Good job. Okay, so if you look at this picture on, on the screen, let us look for stage one. Stage one is the egg stage. Well done. What is stage two? What is stage two? Stage two is the tadpole stage. Good job, tadpole stage. Stage three is the froglet stage. Good job, it's the froglet stage. And then the last stage is the adult frog stage. I hope you all have enjoyed this lesson about frogs. Our first phonic for the day is O with the magic E. Remember our rule. The magic E jumps over the consonant, taps the vowel on its head and says, say your name. The magic E then goes back to its place 
and does not say sound. Let's say the following words together. K -a -d -cod. If we add a magic E at the end of that word, the A becomes an O. Now let's try saying the word again. K -o -d -code. K -o -d -code. The next word is not. N -o -t, not. If we add a magic E at the end, the O becomes an O. The O becomes an O. So when we are trying to read the word, it's going to be N O T note. N O T note. The next word is con. K O N con. If we add an E at the end, the O becomes an O. So now our word is going to be K O D code. K O D code. Can you try saying the next one on your own? The next word is hop. H O P hop. If we add a magic E at the end, the O becomes an O. Try saying this word on your own. H o p hope. H o p hope. Remember, children, we see an E at the end of the word and we must know that the vowel now says its name. It does not say the, the sound O. It says the name. So let's try one more example together. Rod. R -o -d, R-O-D. If I add a magic E at the end of the word, my O now becomes an O. So my word is going to be R-O-D. Road. R-O-D. Road. The next phonic we are going to do is U with the magic E. My first word is cub. K -a -b, cub. But if I add a magic E at the end of it, my A is now going to be U. So my word is now going to be K -u -b cube. K -u -b cube. My next word is cut. K -a -t, cut. If I add a magic E at the end of the word, my A now becomes an U. So now my word is K -u -t, cute. K -u -t, cute. And our last word is tub. T a tub. If I add a magic E at the end of that word, my A becomes an U. So my word is now going to be T U B tube. T U B tube. Good job. Learners, turn to page 16 in your work pack. Our phonic activities for the day is as follows. You first have to pick two O with the magic E words from the box below and make one sentence for each word. The words in the box are home, pole, nose, bone, rose, Joke, poke, hole. You will try saying these words on your own. You will pick two words from the box. You will then make one sentence for each word. Below that activity, we have 
a U with a magic E phonic activity. You will pick two U with the magic E words from the box below and make one sentence for each word. The words in the box are rule, dune, mute, use, fume, cube, cute, and tube. You will pick two words from there and make one sentence for each word. Please ensure that you write neatly. Remember your capital letters and your full stops. Let us recap on the grammar skills we have learned this week. When do we use full stops? We use full stops to end a sentence. And the full stop belongs at the end of the sentence on the line. When do we use capital letters? We use capital letters when we write the word I. We use capital letters when we begin a sentence. We use a capital letter when we write the names of people, places, days of the week and months of the year. On page 16 and 17 in the work pack, we have a grammar skills activity. You have to rewrite the sentences below and fill in the capital letters and full stops in the correct places. Sentence number one says, my name is Pete. Sentence number two, we will go to Durban on Wednesday. Sentence number three, our school is in Amshla Tuzana. Children, you will rewrite the sentences in the spaces provided. You will fill in the capital letters and full stops. It is time to do a reading comprehension. This reading comprehension can be found on page 17 in your work pack. Please pause the video if you need time to look in your work pack for the story. I am going to begin reading. Please ensure that you point at each word as I read. Tabby is seven years old. She has a lot to do. Sunday will be a fun day in the hot sun. Monday she will go to the park. The next day she buys some yummy buns. Wednesday she will go for a run with her dog. Thursday she sits with her book but on Friday she will play with her best friend Mally. Tabby is a real busy bee. Okay children, I hope you listen carefully because now you are going to read with me. Remember, point as you read. Tabby is seven years old. She has a lot to do. Sunday will be a fun day in the hot sun. Monday, she will go to the park. The next day, she buys some yummy buns. Wednesday, she will go for a run with her dog. Thursday, she sits with her book, but on Friday, she will play with her best friend, Mally. Tabby is a real busy bee. Children, I hope you enjoyed the story. If you look below the story, you will see questions. You are required to answer the questions in full sentences. Take your answers from the story. Okay, so number one says, 
How old is Tabby? Do you see the sentence in the story? You are going to copy the sentence down as your answer in the line below. Number two says, what will Tabby do on Monday? Can you see the sentence where it says what she will do on Monday? Remember children, the a secret is that you need to look for key words. So the key word in this question is Monday. Can you see the word Monday in our story? That is the sentence you are going to copy down. Remember to read your sentence before you write it. Number three. What does she buy the next day? What does she buy the next day? So now you're going to look for the words the next day. Children, what day is it after Monday? Tuesday. Good job, it's Tuesday. The next day is Tuesday. But the question in number three asks us, what does she buy the next day? So they are not asking us what day it is. They are asking us, what does she buy the next day? Remember, answer the question in a full sentence. Number four, what will she do on Wednesday? So the key word in this question is Wednesday. Number five. Who will she play with on Friday? Who will she play with on Friday? And then the last one says, complete the sentence. Tabby is a real... Tabby is a real... Children, I know you will get all of this right because you are paying very careful attention to what I am saying. I hope you enjoyed reading the story. If you want, you may read the story again. Try reading it by yourself.